My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have a beautiful 1964 Chevelle. It's got a 355 motor under the hood that's supposedly putting out 410 horsepower. Wait till you hear it. I believe the horsepower rating. Uh, it's got a built turbo 350 automatic, uh, 355 Posi in the rear end, disc brakes at all four corners, beautiful color. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, study all the pictures top to bottom. Uh, and that's where you find prices along with monthly finance payments as well at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yep, we just got this car out of Florida. Uh, color and wheels right there. I mean, let me step out of the way for a second. That should have you sold already. Uh, but underneath the car, it looks like the steering and suspension's all rebuilt, all the ball joints and steering components and uh, all that's been redone. It all looks fresh. It does have upgraded sway bars front and back, upgraded Coney gas shocks, and it has two inch lowering springs all the way around. So it brought it down to a nice stance. So all the steering and suspension looks like it's been replaced. A uh, three inch Flowmaster exhaust system goes all the way out the back. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. It makes some nice sound. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's clean, real clean. Uh, has an extra capacity oil pan. The Turbo 350 has been rebuilt, has a finned aluminum oil pan, a 2800 stall and a shift kit. Uh, in back, again, it's a 355 Posi unit. Uh, brakes, disc brakes at all four wheels, drilled and slotted rotors, uh, stainless braided uh, brake hoses. Uh, so everything under here is good. The floors look real solid. And again, you can go to our website and look at the pictures. So let's check out the body. Uh, the roof, straight, no issues. No issues, this all lines up nice. It's a fiberglass cowl hood. Uh, this is all straight, fits real nice. This all looks real good. Fender down the side of the car is straight. Uh, this is all nice, no damage, no bubbles. It's smooth, very flush right there. That door fits real nice. Yep, yep, fits spot on. No bubbles, no issues. <clears throat> I don't see any poor body work. Uh, all around the wheel well, nice and clean. There are a few bubbles along the very bottom, right behind the tire, must be a little filler right there, some bubbles almost underneath. Uh, this is all looking real good, nice and straight, all real nice. We'll wait for it to catch up. Uh, the bumper is re -chromed. It has all the SS trim on it. This looks like it's probably all been replaced. It's really nice. SS emblem. Uh, someone backed into the garage. Uh, this is an older piece of anodized trim. It's a little scraped right there. And it's a little cloudy. So that's an original piece of trim, a little bit pitted. Uh, so back to the body. This side's real clean. Yeah, that's real nice and clean. If I forget, there's a scratch right here. I'm going to come back to the paint, but there is a scratch there about that long. Real smooth. Got a couple, like a little crack right there. There's some chips in the paint right here and right here. Oh, that one wiped off. Got lucky. So yeah, now the paint. All one color, it all matches. The metal flake is laid out real nicely. I can see as it's going around and the lights are hitting it, there's nice highlights. There are some nicks and chips and scratches I pointed out. Uh, this area of the hood has little pimples in the paint. All these flaws I tell you about, when you walk up to it outside on a sunny day, someone's looking at your car, none of this jumps out. <clears throat> up front, the bumper's re-chromed. Uh, the grill, I'm gonna say it's all very good. It might've been replaced, but it uh, looks nice. Emblem looks new. <clears throat> 
Paint's all nice. Got bow tie mirrors, door handles replaced. The rubber seals, window seals are replaced. On the other side in the paint, looks like something dripped on it and then ran down. It left a little imperfection in the paint. Might wet sand or buff out. All the glass is tinted. It's original glass. There's some water spots on it or light scratches. Uh, it is tinted. The wheels, US mag, uh, chrome wheels uh, with performance tires, and they are 18 inch. They really add some pop, especially with this color. The rubber around the vent window is old and brittle, has cracks in it. Yep, 18 inch, a uh, little bit, a little bit narrower, a little bit thinner profile tire in front. So there you have it. There's the gorgeous outside. Let's open it up and see what we got inside. All right. Under the trunk lid's painted. The jam is painted. The weather strip is replaced. Very respectable trunk compartment. It's, it's rock solid. Underneath it's a little rough, a little bumpy, but solid. You got a couple pinholes there. And then they spatter painted it, put in a new rubber mat, got a tire cover over the spare. And there you go. <clears throat> Weather stripping's new, door jams are painted nicely. The door panels are replaced, including the armrests. The metal trim's been repainted. It's not pristine, but it's very presentable. The chrome instrument bezel looks like it's all new. You got a big monster uh, sport comp, monster tachometer on the column. A retro stereo with a few gauges down below. It's got a B&M ratchet shifter. Nice carpet on the floor. Seats are nice and plump. Got seat belts. The back seats redone, the side panels, armrests look real nice. Back tray has six by nine speakers. Headliner looks new, fits tight, dome light works, new visors. So overall, very nice interior. They're popular little cars. We've sold a bunch of them. Just recently put a 65 Chevelle on our website and someone hit the buy it now and about eight more people did afterwards with backup deposits. So I don't imagine this one's gonna last very long either. So if you like it, go to volocars.com. So that's a 350 motor punched out to a 355. Uh, it's got the uh, highly polished uh, intake. And it has an Edelbrock carb with electric choke under there. Uh, looks like an MSD ignition system. Got a set of headers, a chrome fuel pump hidden down there, chrome valve covers, a nice new dual snorkel air cleaner, the big chrome lid. This is an aluminum champion radiator with a big electric fan in front, and it has the fan and the motor. Remember, I got this from Florida. A billet bracket for the power steering. All new replaced power brake system. Those are Headman headers. There's a tag on the headers. Uh, so overall, you know, you got power steering, power brakes, and a healthy motor. And it's not what I call show quality, but it's very respectable.
not a perfect $100,000 car, but this thing's got some sizzle. It's got the looks, the color, the wheels, the sound, the motor, the feeling you're going to get when you mash that gas pedal. It's just a cool looking hot rod that you're going to get lots of compliments on. So go to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression of this car. You feel free to ask them your questions. I'm talking about our salesman. You can get a hold of them at our website, volocars.com. They can help you with the financing. They can get it delivered to your door. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you can be the first to see the next car posted. Thanks for watching.